In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable remote access to your locally running Electro server. This is useful if you're uh, developing the server side portion of a game and you need somebody outside of your internal network to be able to connect to it for testing or, or for whatever. Um, and uh, uh, I'm going to assume that uh, m my setup here is, is similar to most everyone else's out there. Um, I'm actually at home right now. I'm, uh, I've got a, a wireless Linksys router. Um, I've got a few computers on my network and, and uh, I'm using just you know standard uh, cable internet access and, and all that kind of thing. So um, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, configure the Linksys router to uh, let traffic that's coming in uh, get routed to your version of Electro server and uh, also enable access to the web-based administrator. Um, at least with with uh, Linksys, it's this is pretty easy to do. So uh, first, let me uh, I'll show you that I have Electro Server running. I'm going to open up my router's web page. So I just go to um, for Linksys here 127. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 192.168.1.1 and I log in and I go to applications and gaming and this is the screen this is the only screen that we need to make changes on uh, for uh, all the different ports that we want to give access to uh, we, we just have to uh, configure those here so uh, before we do any of that uh, let's look up in the Electro Server Admin, which ports we're using. So I'm going to open up ES5 Admin, and I'm going to log in. I go to the Server Management screen, and then Gateways, and here we can see all the different uh, connection listeners that we have available. Um, there's only two that uh, we're going to care about. Uh, let's care about uh, binary UDP, so that's port 10,000, and uh, binary TCP, and that's port 9899. Uh, and you can see that they're they're listening on 0.0.0.0. That just means listen on all available uh, IPs on this computer. Um, so. Uh, we we could replace that with the IP address, and in fact, let's do that. I'm going to replace this with the IP address of, of my local machine within the network. Uh, so you can look up the local IP address of your machine just by opening up the command console and type in IP config. And if you scroll up here, uh, 192.168.1.101. This is my internal network IP address of my computer. So I'm going to take that and just type it in here. 192.168.1.101. I'll copy that and I might as well just update all these here. And I'll click update. All right. Um, so let me close this. And we also want to enable access to the remote, um, or remote access to the web admin. So let's, uh, um, we have to change, we have to change information about that here. Uh, go to the installation directory of Electro Server, server folder, config, and then open the configuration XML file. And this uh, information is for the uh, uh, web admin, or for, for the Electro Server admin. Uh, we just need to change this here to the internal network IP. And if you want to change the port, you could do that here too, but we're not going to. So flipping back to, um, oh, by the way, now that we change all that information, let's just restart Electro Server. Closing Electro Server and restarting it. <coughs> and now I'm going back to the Linksys page. And let's just forward. Um, we, we just need to specify uh, the the ports that we're 
that we care about. So binary TCP used 9899, so 9899. And UDP uses port 10,000. And then the admin uses port 8080. And then we want the, all these ports to be mapped to um, our current uh, internal network IP, so 101. 101 and 101. And then we need to just enable all of these. So this is all you need to do here. And then you click Save and click Continue here and that should have been a success. Um, so how can we test that this worked? Um, I'm going to go to, uh, I, I have to look up my my actual internet IP address of, of my network. Uh, I, I'm going to go to whatismyip.com and figure that out. Okay, my IP is this. And I'm going to open up the command window, and I'm just going to click uh, type telnet, and then my external network IP, paste, and 9899, and you can see it returned the electric server policy file. So we know that the uh, we we know that that's set up properly, and just for good measure, I'll show you here. I'm going to open up the ES5 admin. And I'm going to create a new server instead of using localhost here. I'll just call it remote access. I'll put in the IP address. It's still port 8080. And then I'll type in the default username and password. Administrator password. And click save and login. That worked. Uh, we now have uh, we now just set up Electro Server to be um, available remotely.